What's up YouTube? Dougie Chong here. Today I'm going to turn this old Dell 530 Inspiron computer I had lying around into a mining rig. I'm doing this because I built a 1060 rig with about six graphics cards. And I had two left over and so I figured why not? I'll put them in here. So first you unscrew the case and you pull this panel off right here. So it's important to note not all computers will be able to do this easily. This one has the right power connector which I will show you. Uh, you should take out things you don't need like CD drive. I'll leave the hard drives in there. And then you obviously have to have your PCIe slots. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the old graphics card. I actually put this one in about four years ago, four or five years ago actually. But it's not good enough to mine anymore, so I'll just remove it. Just taking out some VGA ports. I can slide the graphics card out. So there actually is a six pin power supply. So I can try to just run the 1050 right away actually. This is a graphics card. I'm going to try to put in. So I have a GTX 1050 and a GTX 1060. This is the GTX 1050. I got it used for only $100. Pretty good deal. And as you can see, it only it sticks into the riser here. And then this is the only power it needs. And I actually have one of these power supplies. So the riser basically extends the PCIe slot from there so that you can actually put it in because this will not fit in the case there. Actually it might. So I'm going to show you a closer view of what's in here. People think you need thousands of dollars to start a mining rig. Really you only need, this thing was only a hundred dollars. Obviously you won't get much from it, but you can buy a few of these, a few hundred, put them into an old computer like this. This one's actually very good. The power supply has a six pin, so I can just plug this and power that. Uh, I also have two PCIe slots there, so I can put two cards without even any extenders. So this is the riser. It'll have a cable here, which I don't have at the moment, but that plugs in there. You can use SATA, but you can just plug this six pin directly into there. All right, this should be everything I need, including this big TV that serves as my monitor. I should get a HD monitor soon. Okay. Before I plug in the power, here's the riser slot. This little guy goes into the PCIe slot. Only goes in one way, so it's fairly straightforward. I like to put duct tape around because when you get a bunch of these in, they can touch and break each other. So you just plug it in like that. This is how the riser works. And you plug it into your PCIe slot. Simple. You can plug it into the big 16 slot. It's fine. It still works. Then I'm going to try to use this here power cable. Alright, they're all zip tied a lot. Now I'm going to want to keep this whole thing away from metal as much as I can. This thing actually goes in this way. Just 
Put it in like that. There we go. Mm. This is going to be difficult. I just need like a box or something. Like this would work, but it's a little close. I'm going to get a box. So I put two boxes just so that the graphics card is as far away from the metal case as possible. Uh, from there, I'm just going to hook the HDMI into the graphics card. Like so. Uh, to conclude, I couldn't get the Dell Inspiron 530 to work. It would just go to a black screen. I tried with this HP A730N Pavilion. I did it because it had this NVIDIA GeForce graphics thing on it. And once I plugged the graphics card in, it worked right away. Right now I'm installing the CUDA drivers. But XMR stack worked perfectly on this. I didn't change power supply or anything. I just plugged in the the graphics card and it worked. So that's how you can turn a budget computer into a mining rig.